the Federal Reserve statement obviously today. What is the housing stock impact? This is a, a, a tough situation for the Fed because we got retail sales that weren't that good. Um, we obviously have hit a wall in consumer lending. Uh, we've got peak autos. Uh, we have some housing that's tepid. We have rates that are down severely on these numbers. At the same time, we got some average uh, wage increase numbers from the Bureau of Labor Statistics this morning that were a little more positive. But I think the Fed's caught in a hard spot. They have to articulate why we have to get back to normal and that the numbers that we're seeing are normal. When I say normal, I'm talking about a normative, uh, not great economy as opposed to a systemic risk economy, which is where the rates were. I don't think that you can take rates uh, one and a half, two, and really hurt the economy. Um, if, as long as you do it slowly. I do worry about the number of bonds they have. I wish they were selling the bonds first, um, but that's just my own predilection. But I, I don't want people to recognize, I want people to recognize that if you're selling the bank stocks, it's because you really think that they're going to change their view based on some data that we've had in the last four weeks. And I don't think they do that. I think that they say, listen, we are, have to get on course to have a normal series of rates. And when we have the normal rates, we will then begin to address the idea of whether there's a slowdown or an acceleration.